Hey, it's Melina Dixon, independent consultant with Pink Zebra Home. And in this video, I'm gonna do a couple quick tutorials. I wanna show you how I use PicMonkey and Canva to make my own graphics. So, um, PicMonkey is where I started. And I'll just show you a couple graphics that I've made that are really, really, really basic and simple. And look, you can, you can see me. Okay, so let's just look at this for a second. <clears throat> Uh, white background, really nothing, nothing, I mean, nothing fancy. Um, this was just to show off our, um, like some stocking stuffer and gift ideas. So it's a white background. There is a black border. You can't see that because of this, the black screen, but I just featured, um, pictures of a couple of the items along with the prices. Um, so that's, uh, you know, for the most part how I'm using PicMonkey, but I just discovered that they have some other options. So let's go real quick to design and then let's go to templates and I'll just show you some of the different options that you have. This is pretty cool. Okay, so these are, so um, many of these cost money to use. Um, so I'm just gonna show you guys a free option. I don't pay for um, I don't pay for PicMonkey or for Canva. Okay, so you've got your background, you've got your hearts. You can actually change the color. So this is what's really cool. So I could change this to. I'm gonna change that to pink. Um, I'm gonna change this to white. Oh, let's find a white that's not quite, well, it's just really opaque. All right, so I'm gonna change that to pink. All right, so I kind of want to, um, I don't actually even know what I'm doing at the moment. I'm just really having fun playing with these. Okay, so the last one's purple and I'm going to leave it. All right. <clears throat> now I need to get the text to come up and the thing's just being weird. Okay, there we go. So now I want to type something different. So um, I'm just going to put happy Valentine's Day. Okay, and so what they've done here is they've just, um, I think that just, it's called justification, is to the right. Well, I don't want to do that. I want to center this but I also want to make it larger. And then I don't like this font either. So let's let's find a pretty font. So I'm gonna look over here. There's a list of all the different fonts and a good portion of them are free. So we're gonna find a pretty, pretty one we can use for free. I really like this Shadows and Delight too because that looks a lot like my handwriting. <laughs> I'm kind of a weirdo like that. Let's try, okay, let's try Grand Hotel. All right, so what else I wanna do while we're playing around with this, I wanna center this. And I'm just gonna drag the edges out so that the text is centered. You can actually make it bigger too if you want. Okay. So now what I have here is a really cute photo that we could use as a Facebook cover photo. We could use it in our Facebook groups for our teams or our customers. So this is just something really, really simple that, that I threw together for you guys. So let's take it a step further and I'll show you. Um, Cause I'm not actually gonna keep this. Um, let me show you what I'm doing with PicMonkey for my Facebook parties. So I create a photo album. It's on my fan page. 
and I create all those images here. So I like to keep the background white. I really like the simple edge border and I like to change the color. I like that pink a lot. So, and I like a thicker border. So I'm gonna apply that. And then basically what I'm gonna plan to do is in one session, make all these graphics. And if for some reason you can't do that, you just need to pay attention to the specifications, like the font size you use, the font color. Just pay attention to the specifications. The next thing we're gonna do is add some text. And here, I will use shadows in the light too because it's simple. It's like handwriting and it's one of my favorite fonts. So now I'm gonna click add text and then a text box will pop up here. So for this, I'm going to type sprinkle jars 3.75. Ounces. All right, so number one, I want this is going to be at the top of my page, so I want to make sure to stretch out the text box. I'm going to center it, I'm even going to make it bigger, and then I'm going to move it up to the top. <clears throat> and you might see some people go and put each single jar, a picture of each single jar. I just can't do that. I don't have the patience for that. So I'm gonna click on this little butterfly for overlays. Let's make sure you can see that. Okay, so I'm gonna click on overlays and then add my own. There's a bunch of different options there, but I need, I need mine. Ah, there we go, stress relief. All right, so I'm just gonna do something really cute with this. I'm just gonna make it small and just leave it down in the page, like just there. And then I'm gonna just type up a list of all the scents for a particular category. And since this is not an actual graphic that I'm making for myself, we're just gonna play around. So we'll just type um, farm to market. That's a category. And those scents consist of all the fruity, yummy, like farm scents. So farm to mark or fresh fruit, juicy pineapple, just peachy. So I don't know how to spell peachy. Oh, uh, what else? Let's just pretend it's summer and we have great popsicle. And let's assume that. I heart watermelons coming back. We'll just center this. And then make the font a little bit bigger. Okay, so now I would just save this save. I'm going to call this test one and then save to my computer and then I will save it to this pictures folder and then I'll have it here for whenever I do want to use it. <coughs> so yeah, so that's what I've done with a lot of my graphics. I'll show you guys some of them. So here's an example of what I did with the sprinkle cartons. I just listed them out. And I did, um, it's just easier for me to just list the scents instead of trying to have a graphic for each carton. That was really, um, that that's just a lot of work. Here's another one that I did for our clip -its. Just very, clip -its and lotions. Very simple, and I've got this bottle of soaks here so people know that these items work with that. All right, so let's move over to Canva because I'll show you what I've done there. All right, so in Canva, um, you know, you have a bunch of different templates, all sorts of different options. I'm gonna click create a design. Okay, so I just picked the social media template 
and there are all these different free layouts. Okay, so let's just for fun do the sunflower one. <clears throat> and this is actually not a free one. Let's find a free one. Because I'm not trying to pay money to make graphics. Okay, here's, here's a different one. So I really like this one actually, and let me show you what we can do with it. So first things first, there's all these, these confetti dots. We can actually change the colors. So here's the four different colors that are working, that are in this document. So let's change them to pink. Let's change them to purple. Let's change them to white and let's change them to this fun blue. Okay, so now doesn't that, the, the confetti, confetti border look a little more fun. Um, I don't need any of this date and time stuff. Nope, don't need it. Cause I'm gonna do something different. I don't need sip sip, although I'm thirsty. So I would like a sip of something. I don't need that either. Okay, so now we are working with this um, blank canvas and there's a bunch of different things you can do and I wanna show you one of the fun things that I like to do. So I like to go on Pinterest and look for different quotes. All right, so let's just search for quotes. So I'm finding that I'm using Canva a lot more for these more fun kind of artistic inspirational type photos and I'm using PicMonkey to make the graphics that I use for my Facebook parties. Um, the more simple um, graphics, now obviously now that PicMonkey has more of those fun templates and backgrounds and stuff, you can use it that way too. Um, I just, that recently um, became an option so I haven't really, um, dived into that yet. Okay, so let's find a fun quote. Um, I want something like, like girl power. Okay, I kind of like this one. Good people are like candles. They burn themselves up to give others light. Um, Hmm. Okay, I like this one and this is where we, we're gonna do it. Admire someone else's beauty without questioning your own. So let's go back and we need a text box. I don't have any preset fonts in here, so let's pick one real quick. Um, and actually, you know what we're gonna do? This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna use two different fonts. So, admire someone else's. And we're not going to type beauty without questioning your own. Okay. <clears throat> all right. So I want to make all this bigger because I want it to take up the whole the whole page so let's also make this a fun color too um let's do the fun pink all right did i spell everything right okay so now in this blank space <clears throat> i want to use a different font for the word beauty and i'm going to use a different color so we're going to type text again and then we're going to highlight everything. We're going to change this. Let's try this. I don't know if I'll love it, but let's just, oh, let's just try it for a second. So we're going to type beauty. Let's do it all in caps. Let's see if I like that. Nope. Don't love it. Okay. So number 
first things first, let's make it bigger. Um, I don't really know if I love this font. I do love this font. That makes it kind of fun. Let's change the color. Let's do that fun blue. <clears throat> Maybe we don't need to capitalize. Go back to Pinterest real quick. <clears throat> okay. Let's just for fun change this font to... No, don't love it. See, here's the fun thing. You can just play around with stuff. spacing on that so I guess we can move this we can even make it bigger just for fun Okay, I think that's it. All right, so now I'm gonna download it. I'm gonna save it as a PNG file. <clears throat> and then, I have a special folder that I've made for my graphics that I'm making. And so anything I've made in the last well, actually, anything I've made in 2017 is going in that graphics folder. Eventually, I'll have subfolders. I want to um, set it up by month. I want to have them all separated. So, yeah. So, that is how I made that graphic. And I like to post things like this on my fan page. Sometimes on my customer group or my team page when I want to, you know, just do a fun, like, inspirational quote. Um, we do a lot of motivation Mondays, so hopefully this was helpful to you. Hopefully you feel a little more comfortable with Canva. Let me show you one more thing because my team has a logo, so I just clicked on it. I'm going to shrink it down. Um, I don't really know where it works. Let me make it a little smaller. So I could just put it right there. Add our team logo to it. So that's another thing, um, if you have logos or images like that um, that you want to upload to Canva, you can do that. There's an uploads option, backgrounds, text, elements, you can click on free photos, and there's a ton of different photos. And I use some of these as backgrounds on some of the, the images that I make. So you really just get in here and play around, and so many of them are free. That's the fun thing. So hopefully this video was super helpful to you. If you have any questions, comment below on the YouTube channel and I'd be happy to answer them for you. Have a great day.